Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your weekly reading for Cancer. Cancer, thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. Oh look, I put you in perfectly. Look at that. We can see exactly who you are. Normally I put those up there and they go shiny and you can't see what star sign it is. All right. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Um, I want to say that the readings are only general, so if they don't resonate with you, please make sure you check out other aspects of your natal chart, such as your moon, your rising or ascendant, and your Venus, if you're particularly interested in love. Um, oh, Queen of Wands, Nine of Wands coming out, flipping out at me there. The Queen of Wands could say that you are dealing with someone who may be a Leo, Sag or Aries. There are boundaries here. There is some sort of some sort of energy having to fight against something, fighting for something, fighting for some sort of freedom. It's like you're not being recognised here for who you are. Somebody's not seeing you here. Um, and I feel like you're constantly fighting here for that. But it's also here about having boundaries, about having, um, you know, being respected. Hmm. Let's see how this story goes here. Sometimes we need to put boundaries up against things we don't want to encounter as well. But I don't feel like this is that. I feel like you're fighting for boundaries, fighting for your rights, fighting for decisions fighting for fighting for freedom perhaps for some of you oh that was a funny split all right this camera is really bright today well the lights are bright, but it's the, the the visual image is very shiny All right, again with a funny split. It's really interesting. All right, let's go with it. Let's just run with it and see how we go. There's an offer on the table. Possibly a love offer here from someone who uh, is coming up as a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Now this could be a love offer that you want to give to someone else too, being this is a water sign. But it's only something small. So maybe you're thinking or contemplating sort of letting somebody in on something here. There's a, an energy of wanting just to sort of open up and let someone in on your feelings, on your emotions. Okay, so the Hermit card is here. Could be dealing with a Virgo here. Um, the, the Hermit card talks of taking time to really go inside, to really, you know, delve deep and understand who you are and what you want in life. There's been some sort of energy here of self, self-realisation, self-exploration. Sometimes it can take, it can talk about taking time out from the world. Like being in one's own energy for a while, cutting yourself off from the outside. Diving deep here with this hermit card. Diving really deep. All right. Six of Pentacles coming through. The card of equal give and take. The card of balance between people. Sharing the wealth. Being able to share here. Questioning something about the equal give and take in a relationship. Questioning whether you're getting back here what you're putting in. Going deep to understand this energy though. All right, Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords can talk about someone trying to get away with something. Trying not to speak up. Trying not to share their feelings. Trying not to, trying not to accept love here. It's like you feel that you deserve love. You feel that, you know, love is part of what you want. But it's like you're closed down. Let me just go another card here. Okay. The Queen of Cups represents Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio as well. 
So it's almost like you've got a lot of watery energy in your reading. There's a lot of love here, but somehow I feel with that sort of energy at the beginning that you don't feel like you're receiving something back again. Oh, Nine of Cups coming through here. That's a wish coming true. It's a really odd energy here, a really odd energy. It's like when I look at this already in this mini read, it's like I deserve love and I'm not getting love as I think I deserve it. And there's sort of a lot of introspection here around what sort of love is it that I want? What is it I want here? Because there's self-denial. There's on the one hand this energy of, you know, feeling like you deserve something, but then there's this card of denial and this energy of not accepting. So it's like you feel on the one hand you deserve something. You feel you feel that that something is not coming to you that you deserve. Now let's get more into it because there's some sort of wish coming true here. So you're opening yourself up to something here. It's like you're understanding something here with the Hermit card. Eight of Pentacles coming through. So this is a card of really wanting to put work into something, hard working. But I don't get that here. What I get is you putting work into something that is not rewarding you with the love you want. You're putting work into something here, trying to get blood from a stone. Let's say that. That's what it feels like. I'm working so hard at something here and I'm getting nothing in return. There's nothing satisfying about this situation. This could be a job for some of you. Maybe you're really working your fingers to the bone and there's no recognition for the hard work you're putting in. This is very, very much about I'm putting a lot of work into this and get nothing in return. What am I doing here? I want love and I'm not receiving it. I want respect. I'm not receiving it. But yet here I am putting everything into something that is not returning to me what I would like. All right, let's see what this is all about. It's like you're offering love to somebody. OK, it's like you're offering love to somebody and not getting something in return. Empty, empty, empty promises is what I'm feeling here. The world card is the end of a cycle. The world card is the end of the major arcana in, in the tarot deck. It's saying here, you've learned all your lessons. You can't keep going. This has to close off because you need to go into a new, a new karmic cycle. So something has to be closed off here. Lessons have been learned. There is no, you're, you're trying to progress something when it is sort of finished and done. For some of you, this is a marriage. This is a marriage. Wow, look at this. <laughs> Isn't that, look at it, this energy here. Some Somebody's marriage is, is sort of coming to a close here. There's no reciprocation here with that Six of Pentacles. Somebody's feeling unloved. They're feeling like they're putting a lot of work into something, but it's not going anywhere because it's done. It's finished. It's over. Okay. For some of you, this could be work. It could be a job that you've just realised that you're not getting anything back from because the Hierophant can represent large organisations, government work, um, you know, a job that's no longer giving you satisfaction that you're thinking of closing out here. So we have the King of Swords here. Now the King of Swords represents Libra, Gemini and Aquarius. So it could be what you're dealing with here. But I feel that this King of Swords is coming in here because you're having to make a decision here as to whether you move on or go forward. You move on or go forward. I don't think you have a choice. I don't think you have a choice when they're saying that. I think this is a matter of going forward and making the choice to go forward. I don't think you can go backwards. I think with this King of Swords, you have to go towards the future because there's been some sort of higher learning here with the Hermit card. There's been some sort of, some sort of a, enlightenment some sort of seeing something that you've never seen before and then i see a hawk here and i think you're looking at things from a higher perspective now you, your eyes are open your eyes are seeing 
And there's some sort of feeling here that you're looking now from the eyes of a hawk and seeing towards, or it could be a falcon, but you're seeing towards the future here. Your eyes have been opened. Let's have a look. Interesting. Three of swords coming through. And the, oh, look, I like this. This is my favourite ace. The ace of swords coming through. So there's a truth being revealed to you here. And I feel like somehow or another this has come through your learning. You could have Leo quite strong in your chart here as well. Uh, Taurus coming through here. You have, you, you have... <laughs> Spirit is saying you have gracefully accepted the knowledge, whatever that means for you. And I think that's the hermit energy. So I don't think you fought against something. There's very much this energy of acceptance here. And it may have taken a while to get to this point because I feel like there's been a lot of hurt and a lot of heartbreak here with this Three of Swords. But when I see the Ace of Swords, I know that something is being shown to you that's helping you to see things much more clearly now. Whatever this is for you, there's an acceptance a very sort of subtle feeling of, okay, I know now, I know, I've got it. Not a fighting anymore. And I feel like Spirit is saying that because I think you've been shown this many times before and you haven't really looked at it from this perspective. But with the Strength card here, there's this energy of really getting to understand yourself. And perhaps that's what you've not been doing before. Sometimes we look through everybody else's eyes but our own. All right, let's keep going. Okay, so Nine of Pentacles. This is moving towards something much better than you've currently been doing. King of Cups coming through. You're stepping into your own element here, Cancer. You're stepping into the person you were meant to be here. And it could be for some of you, you know, you may be walking away from something here. But it's very much the Nine of Pentacles energy. So it's like this strength coming through by understanding you can do this alone or you can do this independently. So maybe some of you are feeling here that you're walking away from a, a job, perhaps to go into business for yourself. Um, but there's clarity being brought through here. This beautiful clarity coming through. All right, and we have the King of Pentacles. Yep, self-sufficiency. Being really content and happy with what you have and who you are, rather than looking externally for it. Something here has opened you up. Something has awoken you to your potential here. This isn't about somebody else. Let me just have a look what this is. There's some sort of, I feel that it's like here that you've been investing in something or putting love into something um, you know, a, a, and really putting it in, really, and not gaining anything back. It, there's very much this energy of investment for no return here. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio, but I feel this is you. And I feel like you've realised here that you have a lot of love to give and you have a very, uh, you could be quite intuitive. And you, in fact, I think you're quite spiritual but it's like you're having this realisation here that you're investing in something that is not returning to you. But something is changing here with this Nine of Cups. Yeah, so you're future focused here with this Three of Wands. Maybe you've been really trapped in your past before or in past energy, but you're certainly moving forward in a very, very different way, feeling very um, empowered and very... Um, very empowered and very strong, very independent. And I feel perhaps you've been trying to invest in something, thinking it was the right thing to do, and it's not returning. So if, if you're working in a job that is completely not giving you what you want here, there's a realisation of what you're doing now, how you're doing that in a way that's not beneficial to you. A lot of self-realisation, a lot of clarity coming through. A lot of clarity coming through for you here. I 
I feel like it's it's like you've accepted something. Oh, there it is, the cosmic heart. Okay, this is the cosmic heart. Let's have a look at what that means. I don't think I've read this one before either. This is about devotion, potency, making your life a moving prayer. When you surrender to a state of devotion, you find yourself flowing with all of life. You're being called to refocus your attention deep within to the intelligence of your own heart. There you go, there's the hermit energy. To bow with deep reverence to your inner temple, to live your life in devotion to this place, to make your life one big moving prayer. Perhaps you've been feeling a little off kilter lately, sensing that the potency of why you're doing things has got a little watered down or weak. Perhaps you've forgotten what made you start doing them in the first place. If so, this is your call to take a moment and reconnect with the truth at the centre of your heart, to get back to the essence of what you're about, to devote your life to what you care most about, to turn your gaze deep, 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 deep. There are seasons for harvesting and seasons for sowing. Right now you're being called to plant your soul seeds and sing to them with deep devotion, to feed them with the sweet waters of your own soul, to lose yourself in the potency of what is, that, what is it that most expands your heart, to live your life according to what makes you come alive rather than what everyone else thinks, to make your life one big moving prayer. Wow, that's really deep and really beautiful. Thanks, Cat